Hey guys, welcome back to Shristi Tech Academy. In today's video, let us discuss about the most popular design pattern, singleton design pattern. What is singleton? Singleton is a concept in which only one instance of a class is created at any point of time throughout the application life cycle. So, what next? Let us see how to create a singleton class in Java. Let us get started. Now, let us create a singleton class. To create a singleton class, we need to follow certain steps. Before going into that part, let us see what will happen if I am having a normal class. Let us have a class with the name logger. This is a normal concrete class. I can create objects of this class from any other class. As in, let me have one other class main. From within public static void main, I can create any number of objects for logger class. Logger log1 is equal to new logger. Logger log2 is equal to new logger. This means I can create any number of objects for this logger class. Now, we need to convert this class into a singleton class as in only one object of the class will be allowed at any particular point of time till during the application's life cycle. So, how it can be achieved? For this, we need to follow certain steps. The first one is we need to have a private constructor. So, here let me add a private constructor. Private logger constructor. Now, is it possible to create objects of this class outside the logger class? No, it is not possible at all. Then how will I get an instance of logger? To get an instance of logger, let us use a static method. So, we need to create a static method. Now, any other class that requires an object of logger has to call the static method. So, let us create a static method. The method is static, it should be public, only then the other classes can access it. Public static, this method should return a logger object, logger get instance. Now, you return the logger instance, new logger. So, using this method, we are returning one logger object. So, the steps for creating a singleton classes. Your constructor should be private. You need to have a public static method which returns the object of the class. Now, how do I get the logger object? In the main class, I can simply get the logger instance using logger log1 is equal to. You just can call the static method of logger class. Logger log is equal to logger dot get instance. This method will return an object of logger. How many other times you are calling, the same object only will be returned. So, this is how you create singleton. Remember, when you are working with multi-threading, you need to make this method as synchronized. All that we will check it out while doing the coding part. Let us start the coding part now. Let us create a new class. Let us have the class name as logger. Inside this, let us create a private constructor. Private logger. Inside this, let me add a simple println statement. This is just for cross-checking. See so. Inside constructor. Now, let us add the static method. This should be public. So, add a public static method which returns the logger object. Okay. How can we do that? Public static logger. Let's have the method name as create instance. And now directly I can return the logger instance. Return new logger. Let us make it still more polished. Rather than returning it like this, let me have it as a static variable in the class. As in, create a static variable. Private static logger logger so this is a static variable now always check 
only if the instance is null, you create it or else return the existing instance itself. Check if the instance is null. If logger double equal to null, then you create the logger object. Logger is equal to new logger. And finally, you return the logger object. If the instance is already available, you are going to return the existing logger object. Okay, let me format the code. That's it. So, this is for a single threaded application. If you are working in a multi threaded application, you should make this method as synchronized or you should make your object as synchronized. Let us check that also. Now, the logger class, which is a singleton class, it is ready. Let us create the main class. Select your package, right click new class. Let me give the class name as main, which has public static void main. Within this, we need to get an object or an instance of logger. So, we need to call the static method, which is logger.createInstance. It returns a logger object. And we don't have any methods now. Let me create one simple method in logger public string log data return data logged now go back to the main class now let us call the method of logger logger dot log data it returns a string value so let us call this within println statement siso ok what next let us run this if you notice the private constructor is getting called and then it is calling the method. The flow over here is when you call create instance, it goes to this method. Then checking if the instance is null. Yes, it is null. It creates an object of logger by going into the private constructor and then goes back to the main class with the logger object. Using the logger object, we are calling the method log data. Now, similar to that, let us create one more object just to do a check whether it is the same object or a new object and also let us check whether both the references are pointing to the same object or not logger double equal to logger one let me save this and run it here you can see the output if you notice, the constructor is called only once, even though you are calling logger.createInstance for the next time. It goes to the logger class. The constructor is not called this time. Why? Because already the object is available. It is returning me the existing object. So, only one object is available as of now. In the main class, again, I am checking logger double equal to logger1. Both the references are pointing to the same logger object. So, it is returning true. Okay. Where are these singleton patterns used? Especially when you are working with database connections, logger classes, some configuration classes and also our favorite spring beans. You all know in case of spring framework, the IOC container is responsible for creating the Java objects that is the spring beans. By default, the scope is singleton. It means only one instance that is one object will be created for a class. So this is all about singleton design pattern. Guys, if you are working professionals or if you are working in projects, let me know where are the places that you are using singleton design patterns. Share your thoughts in the comments. That's it. Thank you.